Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We're taking a look at an awesome bunkhouse, lightweight fifth wheel, amazing price point. This is the 2023 Dutchman Astoria model 334BH. We are gonna be taking a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then we're gonna give you three things we love about the Astoria and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video again today. I am super excited that we are taking a look at the awesome Dutchman Astoria. Before I begin, gotta say hi to Will. Hey Will, hey guys. how's it going today? It's going good guys, I'm excited to take a look at this Dutchman Astoria. Um, again, it's a really nice bunkhouse floor plan, but one of my favorite features is in it, and that's that front windshield. So yes. I'm excited to show everybody the inside and show you what it's all about. Without further ado, Will, let's begin. All right. Model is Dutchman Astoria 334 BH. The actual tip to tip length of this fifth wheel is 37 feet 10 inches. The dry weight's 10,560 pounds, and the hitch weight is 2,045 pounds, Will. This is the Dutchman Astoria. This is what's called a mid profile fifth wheel. Right. Right up front here, painted fiberglass front cap. Check out the LED light strip. Very nice. And then, as Will mentioned, the front windshield is beautiful. We absolutely love that on fifth wheels. Right over here, Will, we got the nice Kurt Rotoflex pin box. Okay. Underneath there, no generator prep. There is your batteries, storage, and spare tire, spare tire carrier there. Cool. Coming on down the side here, we have a very nice power awning with LED lights. Yep. And then look at that slide out there. Right, it's got a slide top already on it. Oh, snap. Very nice. Right here, we got propane. Okay. Solar on the outside here. And then here, just a little bit of storage. Definitely not what you expect in a fifth wheel. Right. But again, well, this is a more of a mo mid profile fifth it is, wheel. Yep. It's a smaller, lighter weight style. Right. You got power there. Right here is your solar control panels and everything. Very, very nice. Coming on down, we do have the more ride step above steps. Okay. Not hydraulic assisted. Very nice. Look at this door handle here, Will. Interesting. Touch button. I like it. Yeah, me too. Um, interesting right there. Nice grab handle here. And then because this is Dutchman, Dutchman is an extension of Keystone. And so it does have that three year structure warranty. Cool. Coming on down here. I love this second awning. Right. And then look at these tires. Well, they're high specs. ST225-75 R15. Very nice. Bracket for the outside and uh, power and USB right there. Coax. Coax. Coming on down right here's your potable water fill. Potable, potable. And then look at this awesome outside kitchen setup. That's awesome. Right over here, we got the Attitude Refrigerator. There you go. Named after Andrea. Right over here, we have nice storage above here. Okay. Nice little uh, light right there. Little countertop area. Drawer right there. And then right here, we have a nice little cooktop. Flame King. Flame King, named after Matt. <laughs> <laughs> no, did you like that joke? Yeah, I thought that was you funny. I'm just saying she has a positive attitude. Right. Listen, guys, when I make fun of Andrea for having a little bit of a negative attitude, you got to remember who she lives with, me. Right, it's really I, your fault. I'd have a negative attitude, too. All right. Coming around back, Sir William. Right here, we do have a very nice 3,000 pound hitch with a four pin connector, believe it or not. Wow. So technically, you can tow behind this, but technically, we never, ever recommend that. Right. Backup camera already on this one as well with a ladder. Cool. Well, you know what I'm noticing? What? This was probably at the RV show. Ah, uh, yeah. With slide toppers and the backup, backup camera. camera. Like, if you look at those, those don't have any of yeah. that. Yeah. I can still, almost it's promise in stock you. As of today. Because, see, look, look, look at the Dutchman Yukons. That one has the backup camera slide topper. That Yukon doesn't. Right, you know right. So, you jump know on it quick. If, yep. If those jump features on. are important. Yep. Right over here, Will, is the black tank flush. Okay. 50 amp service. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Um, you got a dump station right there. Nice. And then coming on down here, we have another dump station right there. 
right here. Instant cool. hot tankless water heater. Love very that. nice. Love that feature. Check out this. Very nice. Auto leveling controls, other side of the storage, coax, black tank flush, water connection, and your dump valves. No Ooh. outdoor shower here, which is different. That is interesting. Um, but like truthfully, not that big of a deal. Yeah. And then another propane tank right here. Cool. Well, well, the outside of the Astoria looks great, but the inside looks even better. Let's go take a look. All right. Check out the inside. All right. All right, we'll start up front in the bedroom right here. Got the bathroom right next to that. Coming down, you have your kitchen, dining area, living area. And then in the back is this bunk room. Where do you want to start today? Will, we're going to start in the bunk room, but first we got to give a big shout out to our sponsor. Okay. One, two, three, Are you looking to make your mark on the RV industry? Well, look no further than Lippert Scouts. As a member of the Lippert Scouts community, you'll have your opportunity to share feedback on products and services that you've used during your adventures. Your insight will be used to drive innovation and development for years to come. You could be the key to unlocking the next big thing in RV. But Lippert Scouts isn't just about making a difference. It's also about connecting fellow RVers and campers in an awesome community, guys. Swap tips, hacks, your favorite camping stories, and make new friends that have that same passion for the outdoors as you do. And if you need support, no problem. There's Lippert customer care team members on that app, always available and willing to help. Guys, join Lippert Scouts today. It's completely free. You can get to it on Facebook, or now they have the app. You can get it for Apple and Android. You can get the full experience at your fingertips. Don't wait, be a part of this great community that is really shaping the future of RV. Join Lippert Scouts today. All right, well, we're coming in here, starting in the back bedroom. Well, this is a small fifth wheel. Can you believe it's bath and a half? I know, I, I didn't expect that, honestly. Not um, only that. That's not a bad bathroom. It really isn't looking like it. Nice mirrored medicine cabinet here. Okay. okay. Good size sink. Mm-hmm. A little bit of storage underneath there. There you go. Nice toilet. Let's look in the toilets, Will. Yeah, there you go. I need a new toilet. Do you really? Yeah, because you broke ours. Which one? The half bath. I didn't break it. With your violent. With my violent Tijuana splash. Yeah. Well, this is nice. Close the door, please. Okay. Oh. Only... Only because the size of the fifth wheel will. This is a prime pooping position. Ding! There you go. My foot is touching there a little bit. Totally fine. Yeah. If that was a full bath, I would have failed it. Half bath. This Especially this at size. this size, yeah. We're passing it. Right over here, we got a bunk over like a little fold up dinette area. Okay. So it locks in this way. And it locks in this way cool and then right here a table sets up so you have like a little workstation yeah. kids room you know what i'm saying the table's right here so everybody can see and then right here we do have another bunk over the cab right here we have some storage a tv goes right there a little ladder set up right there very nice a drawer and then another drawer underneath there okay very nice and then down here will we do have a nice little living room. Yeah. Theater seats right here, cup holders, parachuting seats, so nice. Right. Um, you got this here, which works. Little mm -hmm. remote holder, the Thomas Paine collection. Nice coloring here, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, I do like the color. And then look at the balances. What do we got there? Yeah, nice balances. It's the fabric here, and then you get like a little wood decoration there. And you do have the blackout blinds right here. Yes, sir. Just like that. Yes, sir. And then over here, Will, is our entertainment center. Cool. Right here, we got storage, nice handles. Yep. TV right here, Jensen. Um, Jensen sound system. 
and a fireplace. What's nice about that fireplace, Will, it does produce heat based off of electricity. Cool. And then coming on over here before we look at the kitchen, um, right over here we have a nice, nice drawer. drawer too. Look at the flush slides. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Really nice. Like that. Check this out. This drops down to make a bed. Uh, nice dinette. Big boy tested. We'll sit on the other side for okay. us. Tell us how you feel. It's a little tight getting in, but once you're in, it's very comfortable. There you go. Cool. Will, you ready to show us the kitchen? Yeah. Before you do, you know what time it is? It's now time for the MSRP. <laughs> Will, America wants to know. They like it so far. Okay. They haven't seen the kitchen, but they're liking it. Stock number 259617, again, with those options, is $91,336. Will, MSRP. Not too bad. Sale price, Miss Jen, please put what the sale price is. Okay. You know what to do, Jen. And guys, if you're interested in this unit at that sale price, or maybe even a little bit better, go to generalrv.com slash mathscash. You can get there by clicking the link down below calling 844-969-4033, or going to mattsrvreviews.com, filling out the contact tab, reaching out to us anyway. It's gonna take you to a member of our team, and we're here to help everybody get the absolute best price in America. Will, show us the kitchen, but you need to start right here. Okay. Look at that. This kitchen I like it. No, the saying? faucet. Oh yeah. I'm digging that. Right, the two-tone black and gold. Black and gold. I like it. Um, decent sized kitchen island, not much room here, but it's nice because your sink is here so you free up some other space. Nice big single bull farmhouse style sink with storage underneath right there. Yes and sir. Storage on the side here. It's a nice little drawer right there. Nice drawer right here. Look at the little gold handles on the accents or whatever. Yeah, I really like the finishes that they did in here. Then you have a nice 12 volt refrigerator right here so it's already cooling off just wow. from the battery jump box. But storage up top here. Yep. Greystone microwave there. Nice. Greystone range hood right here. Nice backsplash. And again, they incorporated the little that touches gold. of gold. I know. Right. Little window right there. Three burner Greystone cooktop. A little bit of countertop space. And you have a wireless charger. Hey, that's a, a nice tower of power. power. I like that. I don't know if that's a wireless charger up top. Looks like it, right? I don't know. Well, let's test it. Oh. Might not work. Because it's two. Yeah, you might be right. I know a thing. Okay, not a wireless charger, but you can pop it open. Nice storage underneath there, and right there. And a drawer right above the Greystone oven right here. Very nice. Then over here, I really like this nice uh coffee bar taco bar mm, area yes and again the detail in the cabinet looks really really nice it's a beautiful fifth wheel well it is tons of storage up top here and there yes again great backsplash another tower of power right there hey that's a nice tower of power great countertop space storage all the way around underneath tons of drawers more drawers right here oh yeah and then finishing it up right there. Very nice. Yes. All right, well, go on up there. Okay. Okay, no step up into the shower. And they put the skylight in a good spot. This is really, really good head height, actually. Yes, it is. The width and depth is definitely good. It passes. Bing! That's the shower test seal of approval. Yes. Right over here, Will. Again, nice. Great size bathroom, believe it, it or not. Storage, good size sink. I got plenty of room, nice medicine cabinet right there. Damn. And then look at this, Will. It's liquefied. There you go. The best brand of RV toilet treatment in the industry. Cool, cool. You want to know what's the even better looking mirror? What? Damn. I don't think so. Yeah. That's, that's, that's a good looking mirror. <laughs> I know, I see something, huh? Well, this is not a prime pooping position at all. It's I am very way on, on the wall. Side. I am way on that wall. Yeah, they need a shift. There Unfortunately. It's funny how the half bath passed. Yeah. 
Coming on into the master bedroom. First and foremost, we got a very nice closet here. Stackable. And it is prepped for a stackable washer and dryer. That's awesome. Right over here, wardrobe. Okay. Storage. Wardrobe. Okay. Nice drawer. Nice. And another one there. And then look, I got a door there, so everything's. Yep. Got the same over here. Side. Got storage up or along the side there, up top here. Power USB, nice side tables. And there's that door at the bottom. And that awesome front windshield. Yes. Very nice. And then, nice bed here. Queen size bed. And is there storage underneath the bed? There is. Tons of storage. Yes, sir. Very nice. Overall, an amazing fits. We want an amazing price point, Will. But that's it. That's the review. Thank you guys so much for watching. Now, before everybody leaves, it's time we give people three things we love about this unit. Three things we just don't like. Will, what do we do first? Three things we dislike. First. Yeah. All right. You go first. Okay, my first or my dislike is going to be, um, it's really outside, but the four point electric leveling. Yep. This is big enough. You need six point. Any fifth you wheel. Could, you could definitely just walk it around, feel it. So, well, I mean, the jacks aren't down, but. Oh, guess the rear aren't. Yeah. Yeah. But so. still. Yep. Um, when a fifth wheel, that's kind of like our, our go to. We want to have six point. Yep. That's number one. Well, number two, I'm just going to say the size of the fridge. Yeah. You know, this is a fifth wheel. It's big for families. <coughs> you don't need the big residential fridge, but to have like a 12 cubic foot mm -hmm. would have just been a little bit better. In my I opinion. agree. That's number two. And then I do have a number third if you don't. Um. Oh yeah, I do, but we might no. be on the same page. You talk to me. This whole living situation, living area is a little tight and awkward. Okay. I think it's very close to the TV. There's not a lot of sit seating area to hang out and yeah. You know, no, I get it. I like it. Okay. That's three things we don't like about it. Now it's time for three things we love about it. And Will, yeah. I'm about to shove it in your face. Okay. I 100% agree with what you said. Yeah. But at the same time, I do appreciate that half I bath. I do too. There. I know. But you can't get both. I know. But I do like that half bath. Right. That's like number one. May I do like number two? Sure. This feels like a very spacious, great kitchen. Yeah. I feel like this kitchen has more space than your kitchen. Maybe. And it probably doesn't, but it's, it's, get, it's the flow. It's a very nice flow in this kitchen. Mm -hmm. That's number two. And then Will, what's number three? Number three, I'll combo it. I like that outside kitchen a lot, you know, with the big fridge and the stove top. But then I also love how they did the shower in the bathroom with not having a step up yep. and still putting the skylight in makes it really a lot more comfortable. Absolutely. Well, Will, that's it. That's the review. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys are interested in this unit, please go to generalrv.com slash matscash. That will take you to a member of our team and we will help get everybody the absolute best price in America. We've linked the website down in the YouTube description below or call the number you see here on the screen. Will, what do you say? Yeah, guys, thank you all so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed the different features that they're putting in this fifth wheel. Uh, make sure to leave down in the comments below. Let us know three things you like, three things you dislike. Make sure to smash the thumbs up button and subscribe. Thank you absolutely everybody so much for watching and we'll, we'll see you next time.